Hello everyone. Um, today I'd like to talk about the uh, casting of lots and it's a uh, basically a ancient method of contacting uh, the creator of all things, uh, the Alpha and Omega. Uh, it's, uh, it's a faith-based way of getting answers. It doesn't have to be I mean, you know, from the outside looking in, it looks like, uh, you know, chances and odds and which, uh, I mean, without the interference of, uh, you know, a, a higher power will say that, uh, yes, it is strictly random, um, but, you know, within the odds. So basically what I've found out from casting lots is that you want to, uh, you know, do it with a lot of respect. You need to uh, do it in a, uh, I mean, from a biblical standpoint, uh, in your room behind closed doors, in kneeled prayer, and um, you know, respectfully and sincere, uh, since, uh, sincerely uh, asking a question that you don't know. So you can't already know um, if uh, you got to give, uh, you know. God a chance to not answer and um, or or answer so basically uh, you don't want to ask the same question twice so how I've uh, got my lots going on is uh, like this so basically uh, you can see that so we have uh, two sides here that uh, mean nothing and then we have our answer sides. So we got our yes and we got our no. So um, if you cast your lots and basically you don't need to rattle them or anything as long as you just, you just gotta grab them and you know basically everything's predetermined. So um, if you get a yes and one of these, that means yes. If you get a, a yes and a no, that means no answer. And then again, no answer. Or you have a no. So, um, I mean, you can ask some uh, pretty intense questions. Um, one of my questions that recently that I asked, well, my first question I asked was, uh, can I throw these and ask frequently? And the answer was no. Um, but I was excited to use them and I probably overused them a bit. But uh, one important question I asked is, if I died today, would I uh, inherit the kingdom of heaven? And uh, to my, you know, I mean, a bit of a surprise. I mean, I don't, I didn't know. So uh, the, the answer came up, yes. So it doesn't mean that I can't fall off the path or uh, become a, a prodigal son, so to speak, and not be found and, and not inherit the kingdom of heaven. But it just kind of let me know that I'm on the right track. So uh, if you want to do this yourself, I mean, I would say suggest first off, just getting good with God and, um, and asking. Um, I mean, uh, one thing I asked was, do I need to be baptized again? And the, the answer was yes. So I plan to, to get baptized when I'm more ready for that. And um, I guess I'm not completely, you know, uh, on board with uh, just basically putting aside my my fornication and and such so um, yeah I mean it's a it's a it's an ancient method that's been lost amongst uh, Christians and I'm hoping that my uh, you know that my testimony has come to you for some reason and uh, you can you know, start asking God questions and getting answers uh, directly from him so um, yeah, so I guess this concludes my video, and if you have any questions, just drop me a comment. Bye for now.